be finally here. It's been a long time coming. Um, trust me, I could have been on YouTube two to three years back, but well, it's better late than never. I'm finally here. So I'm glad to finally be part of the YouTube community. Most of what I know now in makeup and beauty, I learned from YouTube. Like 80% of what I know, as far as makeup is concerned, I learned it from YouTube. So you can see it's a big deal for me finally joining YouTube. And um, my channel will basically be about, of course, you know, makeup, just general beauty, skincare, reviews, a little bit about lifestyle just some little bit in beauty tips and more more to come um my name is Vola Kemi and also known as my brand name which will be my youtube name channel name is for dude me and the story behind for dude me well uh, is just the longer and short of it is just me being unique wanting to have a, a unique brand name that stands on its own that it's distinct um i just don't want to have a brand name or a, or a youtube name or a makeup name that is just like others like just beauty just makeup something makeup something makeover something beauty i wanted to have some sort of like a name a brand name a name on its own that stands as a brand name that is different from fuller Kim. it's just me being creative and um for Dudney is, as you know, my name is for like me. Fall is the first three letters of my name for like me, and the surname of someone I respect so much. I mean, someone I hold in high esteem. Um, that's my favorite first list, Henry and S. Dudney. I'm sure you must be wondering <laughs> why I'm talking about first list. Yeah, first list, people, a person that makes. That creates puzzles. So, um, crossword puzzles, number puzzles. As I was growing, apart from liking beauty and makeup, I also love playing puzzles, crossword puzzles, number puzzles. And I read a lot about puzzles. And my favorite puzzle, puzzle is while, while I was growing up, was Henry Venice Dudney of Blessed Memory. And um, I just decided to take that name. When I saw the surname Dudney, I kind of like back then when I was reading about him. And I just decided that somehow, later, very soon, maybe perhaps in the future, very soon I was going to use the name. So just, it's just me being random, being used a name that is different, that is distinct, that stands on its own for dude me. And it's kind of like me giving respect to, I mean, a favorite puzzle list while I was growing up. Which, and I also believe that um, loving puzzles, cross, crossword puzzles and number puzzles, is part of the reason why I is largely a part of the reason why I now have a creative mind. I have a very imaginative mind. I'm very creative and and I, like, and I also have an analytical mind and creative mind, which I also apply in my makeup brand right now, which also shows in my makeup brand today. And not just my makeup brand, in every other thing I do, like being um, different, being creative. And um, there was also a speculation that Henry Ernest Dudney was the first person ever to come up with the phrase out of the box. I'm sure you've heard that before, out of the box, which people now use in, to form sentences like thinking out of the box, acting out of the box, that is being distinct, being unique, being not following the crowd, standing on your own, being unique. Being distinct, being different, stepping out of the norm, which also applies in everything I do. Right from time, if you know me, I've always wanted to be different, wanted to be distinct from the regular person, from the regular man, always wanting to be different, wanting to be, step out of the norm. And when I read that about him, I fell in love with that and I just decided that I'm going to use that. Just me being creative, me being random, me having a name that is completely different from any name you see out there. 
that was just seen it. And though it's a speculation that he created that word, he was the first to come up with the word. I would like to believe that they all in my heart deep down that he was the one that came up with the word. <laughs> really. I mean just what I decided to believe in anyway. But that is what I read about him and um I just yeah, I just believe that he's a large part of what has formed my creative mind, like my analytical mind, my imaginative mind, like reading a lot of novels and playing a lot of puzzles, game puzzles, number puzzles, crossword puzzles, which are now applied in terms and which are now, and creativity is also part of why I form part of the reason why I now have a creative mind which I now apply into my makeup. So that's just the long and short of Paul Goodman. Just me being different, me being distinct, me being separate, different from Mr. Mrs. A, Mrs. B. This is me just being me, Paul Goodman, simply standing on its own and being creative. That's just it. And um, my channel will solely be, like I said, it's to be about beauty. I mean, a little bit of lifestyle, makeup in general. Once in a while, it can be about like fashion. Also, if you want to see more topics, you want to see me treat more topics and other things, just more topics, kindly put it down comment in the comment section. Um, I would like like to. Um, I would like us to communicate one thing. I would like to us to communicate every now and then, please. And to show my excitement on finally joining YouTube, I've decided to give you all a beginner's brow tutorial, like just the basics of brow drawing, brow tutorial. I've decided to give you a brow tutorial, a like beginner's brow tutorial. Um, that's just my way of saying thank you to um, YouTube and for showing my excitement on finally joining the community. I am so excited. And um, as you keep watching and you keep following my videos, please subscribe, comment, like, and just be interactive. Be interactive. Um, I hope um, you're staying safe. Um, this period, you're staying safe from Corona. I hope you're washing your hands for 20 seconds. I hope you're using your hand sanitizers, or better still, you're using um some sort of alcohol. I have this, okay, something like this. Okay, this is an isopropyl alcohol from Egai and Esther. So most times, this is what I use. If I think I even prefer this to sanitizers. Once in a while, I use hand sanitizer. But this is what I use most of the time. Uh, before I did this, my brows and my makeup, I used this. So I would kindly advise you to use, look for like 100% alcohol. This is like 85% isopropyl um, alcohol. Look for 85 or 100% isopropyl alcohol or you can also use your hand sanitizer just stay safe this period and stay indoors stay at home and i'll see you from time to time keep keep locked down on my youtube channel keep expecting many things from my youtube channel be interactive and subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you and enjoy the tutorial so, before I start drawing my brows, I would like to show you the natural rule in drawing your brows, which is to know the parts of your brows that will serve as a guideline to drawing your brows. Now, before you draw your brows, you need to know that using, I mean, this is a brush, this is an angle brush I'm using. So, using this brush, you measure from your nose reels down here, the corner of your nose reels, down here, then upwards is the beginning of your brows this is where your brows will start yeah this is where your brows will, will start then from that same point you move like for towards your pupil 45 degrees away from the beginning of your brows that is your arc or arch as some people will call it then from that same point the arch down to the corner of your eyes is 
the tail of your eye, of your brows. That's where your brows will end. Beginning of your brows. Towards your pupil, the arc, looking head on, straight. The arc of your brows. And the tail of your brows. The tail of your brows will be ending, stopping here at the corner of your eye. So this is where the tail of your brows will be. I'll start by priming my eyes and I'll be using the Pond's Vanishing Cream to prime my eyes and I prime my eyebrows rather. I gently apply it on my eyebrows just to make sure the eyebrows stay in place for as long as I want it to. So I've done for once what I do I do I apply here and apply on the other side of the brows. And now I'll go ahead to draw my make a straight line with light stroke. And then this is where I stop because that is my arch or arc, arc or arch as some people call it. So beginning the arc and then from this arc the brows will go down. I'll draw the straight line, I'll take it down to form the tail. You can see what I did. I took it from the beginning, which I measured initially, the beginning of my brows. I extended it towards my pupil. From here, my nostrils, the corner of my nose, down towards my nostrils, towards my pupil rather. To this point, this is my arc or arch as some people call it. And then from there, I extend it down to the corner of the eye. Now, when you measure this from your nose, you take like either a pencil or a brush, like I did earlier. You measure it from your nose, the corner of your nose down and up, corner of your nose upwards to the outer corner of your eye. This automatically gives you the tail of your brows. That's the simple guideline. Like I said, gently, gently outline it. Gently outline it. Then I've gotten to the arc of my brows and I take it down like I did below. Can you see what I did? Um, I did the same thing I did below. The beginning, I drew it outwards to, to make to reach my to form my arc, and from there I took it down, and I did it upwards too. So those are that's just the guideline you have to follow when drawing your brows. Next, I'm going to be filling in my brows lightly. The aim is not to color your brows or shade or draw. You are just you are defining your brows, so you are following the natural shape of your brows and you are lightly feeling it to make it look natural can you see how i'm lightly feeling it then now when i get towards to the beginning to the front of my brows i gently brush it fill it in upwards Upward strokes, gentle upward strokes.
Next thing is I would use a brow wand or a spoolie to brush up my brows to make it the, the hairs and the brow stay. So I'll be using an angle, a small angled brush from Bobby Brown and um, an LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Toffee. This is a shade lighter than my skin tone, my skin shade. That's what I'll be using to highlight the arc of my brows or the brow bone of my brows. And I'll be using the Jordana Complete Cover Concealer and Foundation in the shade Golden Toffee. Golden Toffee is my shade i'll be using it to conceal and set the beginning of my brows concealing you want to make it sharp and make it well defined from the arc of my brows i did you see what i did I took it from the arc of my brows in a very sharp and defined way and I dragged it downwards to my tail. Then I will now drag the remaining concealer downwards too. It may look messy initially but you have nothing to worry about since you still blend it up. Now it looks a little bit light, it looks pretty light, like it's way lighter than my shade, but trust me, this is a shade lighter than my skin tone. I'm very sure it's probably the angle of where I'm sitting or the ring light. It's just a shade, just a shade. It's <laughs> looking like it's like three, like three to four shades lighter than my, my skin tone, my shade, but trust me, it's a shade lighter than my skin, just a shade lighter than my skin tone. Now I drag it forward a bit. Now I go ahead with my Jordana Complete Cover Concealer and Foundation. first thing you want to do is to make it defined. And why am I doing this? Like why am I using my skin tone a shade, my skin shade to conceal the beginning of my brows? It's just so that the beginning will look natural. Most times when people do draw their brows, they tend to use a lighter shade to conceal the entire part of the brows from the beginning to the end and it doesn't look natural. This, using my skin shade, my skin tone, and the shade in my skin tone will make it look natural so that it will blend in with my nose. To conceal my brows above, I'll be using the same Jordana in my skin tone, the same shade. I use a fluffy brush, a blending brush. It doesn't have to be like broad and like a particular, like a blending brush per se. It's, you can use any fluffy concealer or fluffy eyeshadow or shader brush. So, and I'll be using that to blend out the concealer. I'll just be gently. 
kissing, using it to kiss the skin. Pat, I'll be gently patting it onto the skin. I do the same up I do the same above and I gently you make sure it's properly blended. You don't just drag it, you gently pat it. Like you're using it to kiss your skin. Lastly, I'll be using the Beauty Kink Bomb Brow Set Gel. And I'll use it to gently set the gel, brush upwards, set the brow, brush up, just to make sure the brow stays in place for as long as possible. So, there you have it. Simple ways to draw your brows. I did just as I did for the first eye I blend out the concealer by just gently patting in the concealer with the blending brush gently you want to make it look like you're using it the brush to kiss the brow of the video thank you for sticking with me till the end i hope you learned a thing or two i like to refer to brows as scissors they don't have to 100 percent look alike the goal is to make them look alike to a certain extent they are not twins they can't be 100 percent the same they just have to reasonably look alike that's how i like to understand that's what i understand about brows so um kindly subscribe to my channel like comment just be interactive and also be sending me your opinions about what and your just be sending me the topics you want me to treat let's learn and grow together so as you learn from me i would also learn from you but just send in those topics you want me to treat and i would try my best as much as possible to treat them so until ne my next video i'll see you stay safe stay cute and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>